right, guys, I am back and we're going to do a quick flip through of this pretty little journal. Um, and so really and truly, she's um, about six and a half by nine and a half ballparking a little bit. She's a little bit different size than than normal, but still looks about the same minus the fuzz. Um, and this has um, 20 pages in it and she's pretty chunky at some some areas but she still has plenty of room to grow as you add your items into it um i'm not <clears throat> i will say that this is retro not vintage the cover like the fabric um because i can't if i had to guess i would say 80s or 90s so i'm not really for sure um just by the style of it so um anyways these are vintage um hand crocheted um uh, snowflakes and then um this is vintage lace here and here this lace here and then these are vintage doilies right here that finished off and it does have wax um coated um <clears throat> binding um so this however is not vintage i have no idea where i got this i think i got it like on one of those like clearance things at joann's probably five six years ago didn't really know what I was going to use it for, but sure do enjoy using it. Is it tight? <clears throat> oh my goodness. If I can get it untied, right? <laughs> it's kind of sari silkish, but it's not. It's like a cross between sari silk and muslin. Okay, and so then um, we open it here, um, and this right here is vintage, and so is this lace right here. Um, you can kind of tell it's um, got some. I don't want to say patine, but you know what I mean? Just like some age um, discoloration there. <clears throat> okay, in this front pocket, we have um, a fabric tag. Um, it's just um, the cover fabric here. And then some more of that vintage lace there. And um, some sparklies, um, a tool here, a tab, and then some of the um, Tim Holtz people there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and show you, flip to the back and show you the same... Um, style tag here. This is with the fabric flipped right side out. Um, so yeah, you can really tell the purples and the pinks and stuff and the blues in there. So same thing there. Um, all of this, this lace, this lace, or this doily is vintage as well. Um, this stuff is not. That's that netting that we talked about before. Okay, so then that one just slips into the back pocket. Okay, and I'm um, just a reminder that we used... Um, Amy at Crafty Cat's Blue Winter um, kit papers here. Um, so this is one of the papers here, and I've backed it again with all of the the kit, the backgrounds, or um, what she, I think she calls them collage sheets. That's what these are backed with. And we made this pocket together. And again, it's one of those interactive tag pieces here that we made in our little challenge that we got going on. Um, these tags here come in the kits, and then I've just finished it off with a Tim Holtz little guy here. And then some of the remnant fabric from the cover there. And that just slips right back in here. Okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, and then, then <clears throat> this first pocket here, we have some of that Grandma's Attic, um, uh, little cards there, and it's just on cardstock. Just a little bit different shape of a card there. And then this one here, this is a piece of the ephemera that comes in the kit, and then I just backed it um, onto some lighter blue papers there. I thought it kind of made things stand out just a little bit. Okay. All right, and so then we have tea and coffee dyed throughout. Um, those came from Lori at uh, Lori's Creative Studio. And then just some regular parchment paper there. And then some of my light cabbage dye papers. Some more of Amy's kit here. With some of the music on the background. Some more parchment. Some more cabbage dye. Some of Amy's kit paper there. And then we made this pocket together. Um, and we embellished them. And then up in this pocket, I don't think that we made this together. This is just a um, quick little tag pocket here. 
This tag comes in the kit, and then this part right here was from that Grandma's Attic paper there. And so it can be journaled on the back of there. It just slides down there. And then on the other side, we have another pocket like that. And then um, this background tags here, those do come in Amy's kit there. And then I've just put a piece of Tim Holtz on there. And then just added some vintage doily, like a little vintage doily there with a snowflake. And then again, these are <clears throat> the laces. Most of the laces in here, unless I tell you differently, are vintage. Either laces or doilies, okay? Okay, some more parchment and cabbage dye. And some more of Amy's beautiful kit here. Lori's um, coffee dyed there. Okay, this uh, kit comes into the pocket. Come, this pocket comes in the kit. Oh my goodness. So then um, we made this piece in the last video here. And it's just a um, little glued together little piece there. Um, wow. Isn't that yummy? Oh, and I don't even have any ink on that because I changed out the ink pad. Oh my goodness. What a goofball I am, huh? Okay, there we go. All better? Almost. Oh, those parts are embarrassing when that happens, huh? Okay. So yeah, that little piece of ephemera opens up there. And then I did, um, this kept sliding a little bit. So I did glue down these little edges here just to give it a little bit more closure there. Okay. And then I decided, I know we had talked about before about maybe embellishing this, but I decided to leave it because this would leave quite a bit of journaling space on this page here along with like back through here. So all right, so more cabbage, and then this is some of Amy's kit right here. Cabbage dye, parchment, Amy's beautiful kit here. Coffee dye, and then we come to the center here, and we made these together. Um, so this one, we didn't actually make this together. So this is just a piece of paper that can be unfolded and done. Um, this lace right here is not vintage. Um, yeah, I thought that was kind of a cute little addition there. And then this one I made, I don't believe we made this one on camera either. And it's just a little flip there. And then we did make these little guys here. So those can be journaled on as well. One says home and one says hope. And again, these are vintage laces back through here on those, um, little tabs there. Okay, so we're going on to the second half here. Amy's beautiful kit papers here. Back side of those. They're gorgeous, huh? I love the blues. Okay, this um, pocket also does come in the kit here, and then I've just filled it with some ephemera. Here's a little tag. I can't remember if we made this together or not, but again, this piece right here is vintage. This comes in the kit as a little ephemera there, so I just added it there, and I did not ink it, so let me ink it really quick. Because your girl here will forget later, and then I'll feel bad when the person gets it, and there's no ink on it, you know. That'd be one of those things that keeps me up at night, right? Okay. And then this little boy comes in the that little grandma's attic kit there. Makes just a cute little addition there. Some coffee dye, some more of Amy's kit here. Some more of the cabbage dye there. Here's another one of our pockets that we made together, only this time we made them side loading. So in this one here, we have just a journaling card. This does come in the kit. And then I've just um, decorated it with Tim Holtz, people, person, and his dog. Okay, so that just slips right in there. Okay, and then this is another one of those little flip pieces here. And that one came from that grandma's attic paper. And then of course we decorated this together. And again, that's a vintage doily there. And then on this side, um, again, this little tag does, or journaling card does come in the kit. And so does this graphic here. 
And then I just eyelided it and put in a little snowflake there for some decoration. Okay, and then this is just a tag that comes in the kit. And then I've just decorated it up with Tim Holtz people and some um, rippled card stock. Okay, so that's um, more of Amy's um, papers there. And look at those cute little girls. I just adore that. Okay, and so then I made this because I was trying to decide whether I was going to make a fabric flip or not. And since we didn't make it together, I just went ahead and made a large paper clip here. Um, this is vintage here. This bottom piece is not. Um, this blue right here is vintage, but this white is not. So kind of just a combination of all kinds of different um, things there. So that just slides on there and it can be moved around and used as a bookmark. I hear that's what a lot of people used to like to use these big um, paper clips for. So I thought that would be a fun little addition for this little girl. Okay, some more of Amy's beautiful kit paper here. Little kiddos with some sleds. Okay, then we come to this pocket here and I believe we made this together. So in the back, we just have a journaling card that has um, the Grandma's Attic little kids on there. And same with this one here. And I just shaped them a little bit different. I was kind of looking for different, so that was fun. Um, vintage laces and um, doily here. And then this flips up, and you can journal back through here. Okay. And there is the back cover. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I did, for once, put little charms down here at the bottom. So yeah, um, that is the Blue Winter Journal. All right, guys, thank you so much for jour uh, journeying with me or going along with me on this journey. Oh my goodness, I'm so tongue-tied today. Um, I hope that you guys have had a stellar weekend and I will just talk to you soon. Oh, and this will be listed um, probably later this afternoon because I'm going to release the last video and this video on Sunday, I believe. Um... So yeah, it should be listed here soon. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.